What is sir? Take him to my cabin. Don't trouble to rise, my boy. Oh, Your Lordship, may I introduce Lieutenant Fleming, Commodore Lord Cloudsley. You're to be commended. A remarkable display of courage. Thank you, my Lord. Hornsby, was the flogging all that necessary? He requested it, my Lord. In the future, Captain Hornsby, when I make a request, please have the goodness to deny it. You might have warned me Flogger Flowers would take delight in having an officer under his cap. Captain Hornsby? Colonial. Yes, sir. May I ask how we find him an officer aboard a British merchant vessel? Order of the owner, sir. Sir James. As I recall, he always had a particular aversion for American colonials. Oh, no, Sir James died last month, sir. The order came from his, um, his widow, sir. She was 30 years her husband's junior, my lord. Apparently, she did not share his aversion for American colonials, sir. Heroism is a unique and enviable quality, Hornsby. It's sometimes encountered in the least likely place. Uh, Mr. Fleming, in fairness, I must ask whether you are fully aware uh, that this mission will expose you to the gravest of dangers. Only if I fail, my lord. There are numerous graves on Diego Suarez that are monuments to previous failures. I hope to return to describe them, my lord. My flagship will be lying to off the coast awaiting your signal. It is not easy to ask gallant men to risk their lives, but the guns fortifying the harbor of Diego Suarez can only be destroyed from within. There is no other way. The Portuguese tried another assault from the sea. Foolish devils. Four ships of the line, not a splinter left to float. It was that horrifying news, sir, which prompted me to volunteer. You're not even one of ours. Yet you're willing to sacrifice yourself for king and country. Well, there are also the rewards, sir. Rewards? Captain Hornsby, what's this about rewards? Yes, sir. Um, 50,000 pounds from the British East Indies Company, 20,000 from the French and Dutch, and... Uh, 30,000 from the Portuguese, sir. You mean he's doing this for money? Well, he made the financial arrangements himself, my lord. Where are the other volunteers, Captain Hornsby? Perhaps we will find an Englishman in whom there exists some glimmer of patriotism. There, um, there are no other volunteers, my lord. You're not going alone? Uh, not exactly alone, no, sir. Will you be good enough to tell us exactly what your plan of action is? My first move is to prevail upon Captain Hornsby to put me ashore at Zanzibar. Zanzibar? You're supposed to be going to Madagascar. Uh, may it please your lordship, it would be better to pass over discussion of details. I... well, I don't wish to upset you. Upset me? Mr. Fleming, nothing could upset me further. This man is a philanderer, a mercenary. There is not a streak of nobility in him. What could possibly justify entrusting to a person of your character a highly sensitive, dangerous mission for the British Crown? I'm willing to go.